Matt und Eatgirl. Short one carton. No matter. We've got more than enough to genetically alter every kid at the concert. Loaded up. Huh? Oh no. What was that? This warehouse has always been prone to rats. Now keep working. <laughs> Thanks to the support of sponsors like your store bands, not to mention your radically cool customers, the Come as Your Favorite Comic Book Character concert is going to top the charts as the entertainment event of the year. Red teeth, dude. That shark costume is too much. I've been digging on your curly locks myself. You know, I've heard of the Shrunken Heads and Lizard Patrol, but what's Melvin Krasnick sound like? I don't have a clue, but anyone with the nerve to go for that retro geekified look has to be good, right? Hey, turn that junk off! You're scaring the kids! Hey! Deal with it, pal! I'm the voice of my generation, Melvin Krasnick! And I'm gonna be heard, no matter what it takes! Yes, we have accommodations available. Room 201, first door on the left. I'll take it. By the way, I'm starving. Is there a restaurant here? Perhaps if you're lucky, the last guest will have left a sandwich. And one more thing. Stay away from the third floor. That strange man who checked in last week doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, great. Yuck. Maybe that weirdo upstairs can spare me some H2O. As long as I don't disturb him. Hello? Hmm. Oh, some kind of a fish freak, no doubt. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe I don't have to starve after all. A little popcorn, a little salt. At least I hope it's salt. A little liquid refreshment and... Voila! Instant dinner! Maybe I'd better take the rest to fight off the midnight munchies. I'm exhausted! But tomorrow, I'm gonna be great! A real super... star!
Forget years. I've never felt this good. It's about time they fix that thing. Wait a minute. I know I forgot the floss, but this is ridiculous. Help! Help! There's a giant shark in my room! No, it, it can't be. It's impossible. I must still be dreaming. But this is too radical even for me to imagine. Although, yeah, I like it. Sounds great, guys. We're all set with your levels. Pretty fantastic stuff, eh? Not as fantastic as you. Thanks for handling the sound, Benz. I gotta check in with another one of our sponsors, Dr. Paradigm. Why do you want him for a sponsor? Hey, somebody's gotta pay to rent this hall. Just make sure that's all he's paying for. Okay, let's have the next act, please. Oh. Why fool around with wannabes, girls, when you can get a real shark's autograph? You're gonna be seeing real stars in a minute, pretty boy. Oh. Later, I got a sound check to run. Forget Elvis! There's a brand new king! Those special effects, especially that thing with the fin, are really out there, dude. Very fresh. Indeed, they are. I must have words with that young man. Sure thing. Thanks for signing up as a major sponsor. We appreciate it. It's always a pleasure for Paradigm Enterprises to support good, wholesome entertainment and fish in the city's youth. Now, if you will excuse me. Yeah. All right. I've got the levels. You're Melvin Krasnick, right? You're great, man. I'm the artist formerly known as Melvin Krasnick. But from now on, you can call me... Rocks! <sighs> I tell you, I saw him shark dive with my own eyes! Who is this guy? Let's see what my mystery emailer has to say today. The secret element of Paranoid's plan is popcorn. By the way, checkout time is at noon. Huh? Maybe Ripster will know what it means. The popcorn containers and soda cups are all here. Okay, Kilimari. Set the popper in place. Don't tell me what to do. Being created first doesn't make you any smarter. And I suppose you could have figured out how to genetically alter everyone at this concert using popcorn and soda pop. Get your screwy schnoz out of my face, bait for brains! Hey, sucker face! Maybe we should get the concert promoter to take a look at your concession stand. No, we gotta get him away from here any way we can. Back off, Gil boy. It's none of your bubbling business. And no one calls me sucker face! It's headbanging time! What do you say we take this up on the roof, bottom feeder? You got it! <laughs> Excuse me, Rox. Might we have a word? Aren't you that Dr. Paradigm dude I've seen on TV? I'm a big fan of yours. What can I do you for? No, no. It's what I can do for you, young man. Or should I say, young shark. You got that right. I'm young and I'm strong and people dig my song. <laughs> Nice legs, well-developed chest, excellent teeth, hair. That wasn't in my formula. Is that what transformed this annoying little polywog into a shark? You know, if you were to put yourself under my supervision, I could make you the biggest rock star in the entire world. Really? I could go for that big time. 
and the only thing that could possibly stop us would be the jealousy of those malformed street sharks. Especially that Streaks guy who wants to hog all the autographs. I'd love to fix his fin. And his three brothers' fins need fixing just as badly. After that, fame and fortune should be a snap. It's not gonna mess up my hair, is it? Not a single strand. In fact, all you need do is to get the sharks to trust you, so you'll be able to place this homing device in their secret headquarters. So you can bust in and... Fix their fins? Exactly. By the way, where did you get this delicious-looking popcorn? I found it in this creepy old hotel. Hmm. And as for you, never touch me with those clammy suckers again, you clammy sucker! Not this time! Oops! You're one hammer head about one hammer! One shark in a dish, Doc. Excellent work, Slash. Rux, a heroic rescue would be the perfect way for you to win the trust of the sharks. Yeah. Hey guys, rumble on the roof! What are you bubbling on about, algae breath? It's your brothers. They're getting their gills kicked by a lobster, a swordfish, and a squid. That sounds like paranoid slimy seaviots. Yeah, it's three to two. What do you say we change the odds? Come on! Shark 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 But you're gonna have to do better than that! No problem, fish sticks. Oh no, I hope that's not that. Feeding frenzy! Huh? You're messing with the wrong squid. I beg to differ, squidly old chum. Huh? <laughs> oh! Oh! Put me down, you tuna breath shark! You heard the man, Ripmeister! Loud and clear! Jamster, you don't want to miss out on this kind of fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice going, Rox. I had you all wrong. No offense, friend, but I don't remember seeing you in the family album. Just how did you become a shark? Is there some place a little more private we can talk? Whoa! This place is fantastic! It's about time you boys got home. I've got another email I want to... Wait a minute, I is that guy? That's no guy, that's a street shark! Rox is the name, jamming to the beat is my game. Just to show there's no hard feelings, Benz and I patched this together. But since I'm really a drummer, it seems only right for you to wail with it. Yeah! Baby has bite! What a tasty ear treat! You've got some jawsome chops, Rox! Hey, Streaks! You're one bad dude yourself! Fin check! <laughs> jawsome! As if one fin checker wasn't one too many! So clue us in, Rox. Uh, what's your 411? Yeah, when did Dr. Piranoid Gene slam you? I don't think it was him. But then again, I really don't know how it happened. <gasps> Rox, wait! Huh? Oh, of course. Where are my manners? No, you don't understand. I was waiting for a chance to tell you. I got another email from our mysterious computer online pal. And he's saying that popcorn is the other half of Paranoid's secret gene slamming plan. We gotta analyze this stuff right away. <gasps> Where'd you get it? Uh, nothing worse than a show-off bull shark. Hey, Ripster, how's that testing coming? Stick a fork in it, we're done. And, genetic transformation fans, we've got some real dynamite this time. Anyone eating this popcorn 
and washing it down with a glass of the city tap water Piranoids already tampered with... It's gonna be Gene slammed so fast his new fin will spin. Yeah, but what good would a bunch of new sharks do Piranoid if they're free thinkers like rocks and won't obey his commands? There's a mind control chemical in the popcorn, but there's something in this salt stuff which knocks that out. And it's my guess that whoever made the salt planned to graft another compound onto it. A compound that would stop the Gene Slam transformation completely. Well, that doesn't sound like something Piranoid would do. But someone like Dad would. I called the hotel where Rox got the popcorn, but the desk clerk said that all the guests had checked out. He's long gone. You mean that guy at the weird hotel was your dad? Don't know, Rox. You saw him? Nah. The room was empty when I, uh, helped myself to the popcorn. Okay, John Meisters, listen up! All you need do is to get the sharks to trust you, so you'll be able to place this homing device in their secret headquarters. What's that? Jawbreaker. Sorry, it was my last one. This container says the popcorn originally came from Mitosis Foods, a division of Paradigm Industries. Wait a minute. They sell lots of popcorn at rock concerts. Where the Seviots were setting up a concession stand. And that's exactly why we're gonna keep this Gene Slam and Treat from ever getting there. Harrison Parkway, here we come. Streaks, how much do you love to drum? To the max, man. Why? I've got to get back to the concert. Could I talk you into jamming with me? Love to, man. But we gotta stop Dr. P from Gene Slamming the kids at the concert. No sweat, Streaks. We can take care of the popcorn. Then me and my good bud Streaks can take care of the sounds. or Dr. P will slam us into sea slugs. Good evening, Fishing City. Now give it up for the hardest working fishing show business. I give you rock. everyone. Until the end of the concert, our popcorn and sodas are free. Sorry, folks. The health department's closing this counter down. Stinking sharks! You can't do this. Ignore them, folks. Eat up. Those guys on stage may be fake, but these sharks are the real thing.
is a dream. I don't ever want to wake up. I'm the hottest act in rock and roll. And it really did happen overnight. Thank you! Thank you very much! That was fantastic! Right on! Cool! Slamming outrageous! So what you gonna do now? Wanna join us? Nah, Streaks! I gotta follow my star! Or at least go on a world tour! Just keep that good-looking fin in line, and you ought to do fine. Jump! Jump! Jump!